The ACC tournament also starts Tuesday with uh, pool play starting then. Also a very interesting setup. You want to get into that, Kevin? Yeah, interesting format here. Uh, no other conference does that, uh, but the ACC has 12 teams making their conference tournament and they split it up into four pools of three teams. Uh, the three teams each play each other, so there's two games in each pool, and then the winner of that pool enters into the semifinals of a single elimination bracket, and uh, you might be wondering, if there's only two games, what happens if all the teams end up one and one and they split? Well, they just put the higher seed through, Kind of seems like a weird rule there just to put the higher seed there. I feel like we'd almost want to lean towards a run differential or something. But uh, yeah, certainly interesting. But uh, yeah, it should be an interesting format. Looking forward to watching this tournament as well. Yeah, it's definitely a weird way to go for highest seed gets to go through if everybody's tied. But uh, I mean, that's that's what they decided and that's what they're going with for the for the foreseeable future. So at this point, it seems like 10 or 11 out of those 12 teams are probably making it to the postseason, which is wild to think about. Those uh, fringe teams in that top 12 is Clemson and Pitt. With uh, Clemson, they would probably need a good tournament to make the postseason, but unfortunately for them, they will be playing Virginia Tech in their group, so extremely difficult to get out of that but uh, should be interesting. They're still my uh, dark horse of the tournament if they can make it in there, but we'll have to see. Yeah, like you mentioned, Clemson and Pitt being those fringe teams, but it's hard to see either of them coming out of the pool they're placed in. As far as the host spots, it looks like uh, Virginia Tech, Miami, and Louisville are pretty locked into host at this point. And then uh, my favorite first round matchup would go to the Pool D, which has Notre Dame, Virginia, and Florida State in it. And I really think the winner of this pool could end up hosting, especially if they're able to win a game afterwards as well once they get into those semifinals, uh, especially for Notre Dame and Virginia, who are right on the fringe of being in hosting position at this moment. If they're able to come out on top of that pool, it'd be impressive. And Florida State has certainly been in the conversation at some points as well but they've been uh, very inconsistent as of late. Yeah, a lot of other rankings have had them in and out. We've decided to keep them out for pretty much the entirety of the time that other other polls had them jumping around. But yeah, they're a team that can get hot, and their pitching staff is definitely uh, good enough to, to dominate some games if they can get a good run going. But yeah, at this point, Virginia Tech seems to be a, a safe top eight seed no matter what happens is tournament and Miami just on the fringe of being a top eight seed so really could benefit from a, a good run from them and similarly Louisville is probably on the outside looking in of a top eight seed but they're definitely a host and if they can do well and make it far in the tournament they could see themselves on that other side but yeah again like you said the the best matchups seem to be from from the pool you mentioned with Notre Dame Virginia and Florida State with seemingly any of those teams could take that little little uh, kind of mini tournament <laughs> there. But yeah, I mean, besides that, I think Virginia Tech is the obvious pick to take uh, to win the tournament. But I think Louisville has a chance. They've shown that they can beat any team uh, in the conference. They've played Virginia Tech very, very close, and they're not in a group of death like you see in Notre Dame in. But it, it is a very interesting uh, way to see this play out. Yeah, I certainly considered uh, looking at Miami and Louisville as my pick to win it, but just had to stick with Virginia Tech here. So they're just not losing any weekend series, so it's hard to see them losing two games in, in this uh, bracket here. So uh, I, I'm looking to see the Hokies come on top of this tournament, but nonetheless, it should be an entertaining week all around for this conference, just like all of these conferences just looking forward to watching all these games um, and seeing that postseason atmosphere thank you for watching and listening if you enjoyed we would really appreciate a like and subscribe for more weekly college baseball content